Welcome back to Krenko's Corner. Tonight we are cracking some Throw of Al Drain packs for our subscriber, Woodrow. So, um, just got 10 packs here today of the Throne of El Drain. Hoping we'll pull a great hinge, maybe, ooh, maybe an Ember Cleave or an Oko in here. So, we're going to crack some packs tonight just for some fun and then send these out to him. So, make sure you guys take a uh, like and subscribe to the channel and take a look at what we've got down below. There are some links down in the channel you can look at. Uh, send you over to our TikTok as well or just uh, send us a comment. We will open some packs and mail out to you too. So, thank you guys for coming by. All right, here we go. Let's start cracking some packs. All right, let's get into pack number one. Okay, I forgot. These are printed different. So, they've got the pull tab and they'll be backwards. So, I'll just rifle through these and Woodrow is getting back into magic I know after a long time and uh, trying to get him into something other than elves of course so we're gonna start from the back because this will be the comments in the back this time from printing beloved princess run away together scalding cauldron fortifying provisions rose thorn halberd idyllic grange weaselback redcap Vantress Paladin, Bacon to a Pie, Fierce Witch Stalker, ooh, Tournament Grounds, good card for Red, White, Blacks, awesome, Bog Naughty, Uncommon, last Uncommon is Merrileaf Pixies, good ramp card, Flying 2-2, good Mana Dork, and the Rare, ooh, first pack, Garrick Cursed Huntsman, wow, there you go right there, that's a good card, woo, nice, start off with Mythic, so we start off with Spicy, awesome, and then we have a planes and our food token. Great first pack way to start it. That's the way we like to see it. So we'll start big and big. Okay, next pack we have the own adventure token. Blow your house down. Lonesome unicorn. Mantle of tides. Wildwood tracker. Rose thorn acolyte. Weapon rack. Thrill of possibility. Smitten Swordmaster, Unexplained Vision, Festive Funeral, Mad Ratter, Epic Downfall, Lucky Clover, and a rare is Clackbridge Troll, which I think is a great card. 8 8 for 5, Trample and Haste, and the target opponent gets 3 goats. So it kind of tells that story while it's doing the same thing. But I think it's pretty cool. There can be a lot of combos with that. And an island and adventure token. All right, pack three. So we already got a mythic, so maybe we'll crack another mythic here. So nothing here, no token. Silver flame ritual. Knight of the keep. Didn't say please. Ogre errant. Fell the pheasant. Witch's cottage. Barge inn. Red Cap Raiders, Malevolent Noble, Arden Vale's Hactician. Ooh, Deafening Silence, good card. This is good for uh, some control, some white control or some maybe even blue white. I have this in my uh, Brago deck and my Guafa deck as well. It kind of shuts people down. Once and Future, Thunderous Snapper, and the rare is Fervent Champion. Yeah. Hmm. That's pretty easy. One, one for one. First strike haste. Whenever it attacks, another attacking knight you control gets plus one, plus one to one of turn. Quip abilities you activate that target for a champion costs three less to activate. So that's pretty cool. Good turn one drop. And the swamp and the nothing there. So. All right, next pack. And I want to thank uh, Woodrow again for sponsoring these packs. So we can mail, open them and mail them out to them. That's a cool token. I've not seen this giant token before. All right, let's get into the back. Lonesome Unicorn. Knight of the Keep. Runaway Together. Scorching Dragonfire. Rosethorn Acolyte. Lockthwain Gargoyle. Seven Dwarves. This is the card I wish they had made seven different arts for from the different angles of all the dwarves. I thought that would have been really cool aesthetic if they had done that and then to go with the dwarven land card that, you know, that was in the same set fortunately they didn't but you can have seven cards named seven dwarves in your deck steel gaze griffin flash of thorns brimstone trebuchet going into our uncommon animating fairy covetous urge hmm, that could be fun inspiring veteran 
good knight card there. Did some buffs to that. And the worthy knight as your rare. 2-2 two, two for 2. Whenever you cast a knight spell, create a 1-1 one, one white human creature token. Now that is casting a knight spell, not successfully casting a knight spell. So all you have to do is send, get the cast trigger and you get the token. So even if they counter it, you, the cast trigger will go into effect. And an island, which is really cool with the well there and the token. Next pack. Starting off with the adventure token. Mistford River Turtle. Fling. True Love's Kiss. Queen of Ice. Thrill of Possibility. Fell the Pheasant. Gingerbread Cabin. It's a cool little like story kind of card. Reaper of Night. Red Cap Raiders, Malevolent Noble, Glass Casket, it's the first uncommon, Drowned in the Lock, that's really cool, Bog Naughty, and we're going into our rare, ooh, Double Mythic in this uh, 10 pack so far, Brazen Borrower is one of the top ones in the uh, set, I remember, Brazen Borrower is 3-1 for 3 with in with Petty Theft for 2, Return target non-land permanent opponent controls to its owner's hand, and it has Flash Flying, and can, blow only, can block only creatures with flying, it's a good card. Into the swamp and the token. So you got two mythics already, man. You would be good about these spicy packs. Got the Gara and the Brazen Borrower. Next pack, food token. So tiny. Ginger Brute. Bartered Cow. Crashing Drawbridge. Insatiable Appetite. This reminds me of Tack on Titan. Anybody seen that? It's super gross. Blood Haze Wolverine. Lock Twain Gargoyle, Wicked Guardian, Unexplained Vision, Ooh, Sir Kara, Kara the Bowl, Good Night card, Ooh, and then Sarfair and the Hedgehammer, so double sires. And then Improbable Alliance, which is cool. And then a rare is Piper of the Swarm. Yep, this is good for rat decks. Rats control of menace, create token, sacrifice and gain control of target creature. Yeah, this is cool. Ooh, and a foil uh, story card, Garnbrig Carver. Look at that. That's sweet. That's nice. And the island. And you've been doing good on these packs, Woodrow. Hope you enjoy these, man. We'll get this uploaded for, on YouTube so you can view this as soon as possible. And you've done really well in these packs. There's our human token. True Love's Kiss. Wishful, Wishful Merfolk, which is, of course, what story are we looking at here? The Little Mermaid. Memory Theft. Prized Griffin. Return to Nature. Good EDH staple card. Being able to onto and destroy enchantment, artifact, or exile target card from a graveyard for two. Excellent. There's the Garen Brig Carver in regular art. Seven Dwarves again. Reeve's Soul. Ooh, there's the Dwarven Mind to go with the Seven Dwarves. That's cool. Venerable Knight. First Uncommon. Mystical Dispute. Okay, Ranger, and your rare is, who Mythic again, three Mythics in these 10 packs, Harmonious Archon, 4-5 for five, four, 6 with flying, non-Archon creatures have base power and toughness of a 3-3, three, three. and when Harmonious Archon enters the battlefield, would create two 1-1 one, one white human creature tokens. So they'll come in as 1-1 one, one white human creature tokens, but then they'll have base power and toughness of 3-3 three, three from its own ability, so that's pretty cool. And then, ooh, a Foil Island in the back. And then the regular swamp. Nice packs. These are some spicy hits. Let me get a glass of milk for this spice. Can't handle it all. <laughs> all right, next pack. No token here. Merfolk Secret Keeper. That's a cool card. Didn't say please. Arden Vale Paladin. Merchant of the Veils. Good for red decks, being able to have that discard draw on the ability itself. And then obviously having the adventure that can do the same. So good card there. Signpost Scarecrow, good uh, mana dork in Scarecrows if you're doing a Scarecrow deck, which would only be EDH, of course. Garenbrig Carver again, Uger Errant, Reaper of Night, Trapped in a Tower, Goldilocks, of course. Forever Young, Covetous Urge, Shambling Suit, Inspiring Veteran, and the rare is Vantress Gargoyle. 
Five four for two artifact creature gargoyle with flying can't attack unless defending player has seven more cards in their graveyard. Can't block unless you have four more cards in hand, and each player puts the top card of their library into the graveyard. So you can get them to start milling themselves and then use him. And the forest, and then the, the nothing. All right, there's our boar token. Goes with the three little pigs card in the set. Merfolk Secret Keeper. Ooh, Golden Egg. Fun card. Shining Armor. Wishing Well. Witching Well. <laughs> Insatiable Appetite again. Crystal Slipper. Henge Walker. Wicked Guardian. Tempting Witch. Which is absolutely just gross. Steel Gaze Griffin. Claim the Firstborn. Another one of the... Uh, Oh, God, I can't remember his name, but he's the one that steals the kids, but another another good one. Fairy Vandal, Fireborn Knight, and your rare is... Ooh, Escape the Wilds. Escape to the Wilds, rather. Exile top five cards of your library. You may play cards exile this way until end of your turn, and you may play an additional land this turn. So you're really using this to get that extra landfall, but if you happen to nail this trigger, it does help as well. But it's a great card. Forest and Boar. All right, last pack. Again, Woodrow, thank you very much for... Uh, buying these packs and so we can open and mail them out to it's very appreciated uh helps out the channel helps out everything very much so thank you again okay where's our nice food token there get into the last pack let's get some good fire in here blow your house down fortifying provisions tome raider wildwood tracker two and veil tree folk gingerbread cabin thrill of possibility Festive Funeral, Trapped in the Tower, Sarakara again for Uncommon, Deafening Silence, okay, good card, Trail of Crumbs, which is the kids, of course, creating the food token, yeah, that's a good card, and a rare, Doom Foretold, two white and a black, which is Orzov, Enchantment, beginning of each player's upkeep, that player sacrifices a non-land, non-token permanent. If that player can't, they discard a card, they lose two life, you draw a card, and you gain two life, and you create two two white knight creature token with vigilance, and then you sacrifice Doom Foretold. So you may only get this once if they choose not to, um, just so they can get rid they'll get rid of it, but it's still cool. Ooh, and a foil mantle of the tides to end it all out. And the mountain. And the food token. Again, I want to thank you guys for stopping by, and if you enjoyed this content, please like. Uh, and subscribe if that's okay it'd be cool too and comment below if you'd like to open some packs with us we'd be happy to do it and mail them out to you all right thank you again have a good night